Hello students. Today we are going to study about the reading skills and also we are going to analyze about the techniques of reading and also about the types of reading. So reading is one of the important communication skills especially for the students because they have to read a lot in order to appear for the examination. So this Techniques of reading, skimming and scanning would definitely help the student to read the text faster and also comprehend the text easily. And also we are going to study about the types of reading, intensive reading and extensive reading. So in the case of first topic, skimming and scanning. So the readers can employ many techniques in order to understand the text faster, in order to read the text faster. So skimming and scanning, uh, these uh, techniques are widely used by the readers. So they can also use uh, the techniques called SQ3R technique. Here in SQ3R, S stands for survey, Q stands for question, whereas 3 R's stand for read, recite and review. So we have to survey the text what kind of text you are going to read whether it is a fiction or short story or what kind of topic we want to read so we have to survey the topic then we have to question so what kind of the text is this before reading a text we all have some kind of assumption some kind of guessing on the particular text so as a reader we always question about the text then we read the text we recite the text recite the text we read the text again or we try to understand comprehend the text then review we critically review the text after reading we won't believe whatever the writer is saying we critically analyze why why not so all these questions we have as a reader even this a technique is famous just like skimming and scanning sq3r technique moving on to the technique skimming so skimming is the process of reading only main idea general idea for example uh, so when you want to prepare a huge text overnight so you won't have privilege of time so at that particular time you choose only to read keywords and all the underlined words highlighted words italicized words so this is known as skimming so by reading keywords important words we try to comprehend the entire text so that is called skimming so here a process of glancing rapidly through a text to determine it's just yes the readers try to understand the general idea of the text by reading only the main ideas purpose of skimming is simply to sue sorry simply to see what a text is about yes so the purpose of skimming is in order to understand what the text is all about so reading the main idea or general idea is the readers read only main idea and general idea by reading the keywords italicized words highlighted words underlined words by reading this we can comprehend the general idea overall idea of the text this is known as skimming whereas scanning it is even more quicker whereas the readers scan the readers eyes scan only for the keywords for example uh, the newspaper is publishing a date of a result so the news contains many information like how many students appeared for the examination how many male students how many female student the courses they have appeared so everything all the details the newspaper have so in spite of that the students always eager to know about the date of publication so at that time their eyes only scan for the number their eyes only scan for the date specific information here the specific information is publication of the result the date of publication 
So this is known as scanning. Scanning refers to surface level process of reading. Yes, it is not an in-depth level because the reader is searching only for the specific information. Glancing rapidly to search for a specific piece of information. It is a selective reading. Yes, it is a selective reading because the readers always selectively read particular kind of information. So that is why it is called as selective reading. Moving on to the next topic, intensive reading and extensive reading. We have to understand one thing that the reader's ability is different. Because some readers are fast readers, some readers are slow readers, some readers are average readers. So based on their ability, the types also will change. At the same time, based on the text also, we change our reading techniques, reading types. For example, in intensive reading, whenever we want to read the text uh, completely, whenever we want to understand the text completely, we uh, always employ intensive reading method. Because in this, uh, we have to uh, read the entire text. Uh, we have to understand each and every point. So it is known as intensive reading. It is also known as deep reading. So here, to read and learn with full concentration, it is known as intensive reading. So it will help you to deal with complex text. Yes, whenever you are reading difficult text, complex text, this intensive reading type will help the students to know the topics better. It also strengthens reading comprehension and it also improves language skill and your vocabulary. Generally, reading skill uh, always improves our vocabulary. In the same way, intensive reading also helps us to improve the vocabulary. So, the following are the uh, things we can do in order to develop uh, our intensive reading. First thing is taking notes. Yes, we have to take notes whenever we are reading because our memory will not support all the time. At that case, only our notes will help us whenever we want to recall the certain points. So, taking notes is one of the best ideas in intensive reading. Second point to develop intensive reading is break down the reading process. So, in deep reading, we have to read the text multiple times. Pre-reading, reading, post-reading. Post For example, pre-reading, we just we, uh, try to uh, guess, we try to uh, form assumption uh, on the text. Whereas reading, we actually read the text. In post-reading, we formulate our own ideas, our own criticism on the text. So, we, as a reader, we have to read the text multiple times in order to know the perspective of the text. So, at last, apply what is learned. Learning is important. At the same time, we have to apply whatever we are reading. So, that is the last stage to develop intensive reading. The next is extensive reading. Here extensive reading it stands for extra reading. So here in intensive reading we usually uh, we apply intensive reading whenever we are studying our textbooks. Whereas extensive reading whatever we are reading extra it is known as uh, extensive reading. For example we read newspaper, we read magazine. These are all comes under extensive reading. It helps us to engage uh, with different types of reading. Uh, fiction, non-fiction, work-related documents, newspaper article, all these categories coming under, uh, all these categories are coming under extensive reading. The following are the benefits of extensive reading. First one, develop interest in reading. Yes, extensive reading always helps us to develop interest in reading. Whenever you are reading newspaper, magazine, it always kindles your interest for extra reading. Then improve reading comprehension. It helps us to improve reading comprehension. Read widely. Yes, we as a reader, we start uh, reading widely after reading newspaper, magazine. We come to know many information. So we search, we always search for extra information. Then it just like uh, intensive reading, it also improves our vocabulary. 
So these are the difference between extensive reading and intensive reading. Uh, extensive reading is reading for pleasure, whereas intensive reading, uh, whenever we are trying to attain specific information, we employ intensive reading. Extensive reading, it is known to improve fluency, whereas uh, intensive reading, it helps us to improve grammatical knowledge, vocabulary, ability to grasp ideas, as well as ability for logical thinking and reasoning, because we are reading the text specifically. So ex extensive reading is obviously supplementary reading because newspaper, article, magazine, these are all supplementary reading. Out of our own interest, we are reading. So whereas intensive reading, it is comprehensive reading. We try to understand each and everything. Reading novels, magazine, newspaper are example for extensive reading. <coughs> whereas reading textbook is example for intensive reading. Long, long text, large amount of materials are read by the students for general understanding. Yes. In extensive reading, we can, we can understand generally, general points we can understand. Whereas uh, for maximum of understanding, we have to employ intensive reading. And then extensive reading will be helpful for second language learners, beginners involved in extensive reading. Whereas intensive reading, always a researcher uh, does intensive reading. It also helpful for competitive examination. Then reading material is selected by individual in the case of extensive reading. Whereas in intensive reading, reading, reading material is recommended by the course teacher. So by learning this, we have to analyze what kind of reader you are, whether you are a fast reader, slow reader or average reader or if you are a reader, so which techniques you employ in which kind of text. So before reading a text, you have to identify your pace of reading and also the techniques you are going to adopt for that particular text and also you have to make sure that what kind of text you are reading because based on the kind of text we can um, employ the types of reading for example if you are reading a course related text you have to employ intensive reading or if you are reading newspaper magazine you can employ extensive reading so this reading techniques definitely will be helpful for us to comprehend the text easily and also to read the text faster. Thank you.